Hey there, and thanks for stopping by. I'm super excited because I recently just hit my first 1,000 subscribers right here on YouTube. I know, happy dance time. Now, I've been on the platform for about two months, and in that time, I've already learned a lot about what's really helped my channel grow and what really hasn't had any impact at all. So today, I'm gonna spill it all and tell you how to get your first 1,000 subscribers. All right, so the first thing I learned is that you have to be consistent with uploading content. And there's two reasons why this is really important. One, it shows that you are actually committed. You're committed to your audience, but you're also committed to yourself and creating content. So go ahead and make a schedule. It doesn't have to be every single day. You don't have to be a daily vlogger or anything like that, but have a consistent schedule that works for you and that you can actually 100% stick to because you have to be 100% committed to this if you really wanna start growing a YouTube channel. It can't be like, oh, I kinda wanna do it, or I'll do some videos here and there. No, you have to decide like, I'm doing this or I'm going at this and give yourself a time frame to do it. Um, I really, really needed that. For me, I needed the sort of goal of uploading every single week and making that commitment to myself that for 2018, I'm actually gonna try at YouTube. Because for so long, I would make videos here and there and I'd put them up and take them down if I felt like, oh, I didn't get enough views or not enough people cared. And I wasn't really at all committed. Like I wanted it to the extent that I just wanted to instantly have a huge following, but not in the way that I just wanted to create content and be creative for the sake of it and, and actually go through the process and the journey. So it's really important that you say to yourself, no, I 100% want to be doing this and I'm gonna commit to uploading consistently. My second tip is that you have to have a niche or a theme for your channel. It can't just be like a catch-all. Sometimes there's food videos, sometimes there's camera videos, sometimes there's just random this is my day videos. Um, I think that maybe if you're a celebrity you can do that or if you're already a big YouTuber you can do that because people are just inherently interested in your life. But if you're just starting out and you don't have a huge following yet, you need to develop a niche and a theme for your channel so people know what to expect. And so that if people see one of your videos and say, hey, I really like that, that was valuable, then they go to their channel and they see there's tons more content similar to that one. So far on this channel, I've really kept it in the creator space, video photography, creative business type zone. So chances are with most of my videos, if you watch one and you like it, you're gonna like one of my other videos that show up in that little sidebar thing over there. And that's definitely the key to getting people to click around and watch a couple different videos. I definitely find that once people watch three of your videos, they're probably gonna stick around, they're probably gonna subscribe. So make sure that your videos have some kind of theme, something holding your whole channel together. Tip number three is to create videos that provide value for the people watching them. Think really deeply and critically about the type of videos that you actually watch here on YouTube. And you'll probably quickly realize that they're all maybe informational or they're really inspiring or they're educational. You're learning something, you're taking something away from those videos that they are giving you as someone watching them. So you just can't create videos that's just like, this is a day in my life, I'm going to the gym, I'm going to the mall, um, because people aren't gonna relate to you yet. They don't know you yet. And for me, I've really found that the tutorial content, the educational content has been a great way for me to create videos that people are actually searching, people will actually find. And then if they like me and they like my personality, maybe they'll subscribe and stick around. But if you are creating vlog content and that's the content and the style of your channel, you can still give takeaways and great messages in that kind of content. Just think about it before you make the video. Just think, what can someone learn or take away from this video after they watch it? And, and sort of think about that and have that in your head before you're making the video and as you're making it, and you're gonna really have a cohesive story by the end of that. Tip number four is that the title, the thumbnail, the tags, the description, 
All of that matters so, so much. Honestly, it probably is the most important thing that you do when you publish your videos. So don't spend tons of time filming your video and editing your video, and then when you go to upload it, you're just like, oh, I'll just make this the title and I'll just grab a screen grab from the video and make that the thumbnail. Don't do that. Spend a good amount of time finding a great image, editing it, putting text on it, having a really good title. And like I said in tip number three, that if your video has that great takeaway, put that into the title so people know exactly what they're gonna get. I'm still experimenting a lot with the titlings and I go and I change them and I tweak it even on my old videos just to give it a better shot and a better chance. Um, but don't underestimate this. You don't have to have a ton of subscribers to start getting views on your videos, but your videos do have to be clickable. You don't have to go to the realm of clickbait, but learn a message from clickbaity content. Why are people clicking on those thumbnails? What is it about it that's drawing them in? And sort of take some cues from that and put that into your content. Also on the topic of meta tags and all that kind of stuff, I don't think I'm an expert at it, but a friend of mine recently told me about a great program. It's called TubeBuddy. You basically give it the general topic of your video and it will generate a ton of tags for you. It's great. It is a subscription service, so only get it if you're serious about growing your YouTube channel. I got it and I think it has been helping, but I'm not too sure yet. I'll probably do a video on it coming up, but I'll link down below to that site if you want to check it out. Tip number five is to collaborate with other creators here on YouTube. YouTube. I honestly think this is one of the best ways to kickstart your channel growth and get more subscribers. Now you have to make sure that the people who you collaborate fit with your general vibe and the theme of your channel. But once you kind of find that sweet spot, it's great. It's, it's great for everyone and you get to make a lot more cool content and more people sort of get to see what you're up to and what you're doing. Now, I was in a really good position because one of my close friends, Chris, had actually started his YouTube channel uh, several months ago and he's been having a lot of success. So we were talking and we were like, well, let's do some collaboration videos. And since our channels have a similar vibe, some people saw me on his page and they came over here and checked it out. So if you're one of those people, awesome. Thanks for being here. Now I get it. Not everyone is going to know someone who's also on YouTube in a similar niche that they can collaborate with, but you can definitely go and reach out to people. Hey, if you're in Toronto area, send me a message. If you're outside of Canada, still send me a message. Who knows? We can maybe collaborate on something. Go and look for people who are creating cool things at a similar stage to you and start reaching out to them. The other thing is, is that know that you can never do anything 100% on your own. Yes, there's a few lone wolves out there, but it's so much more fun when you sort of get a crew together and you're all going at it. And it just makes it so much more enjoyable when you're kind of climbing that ladder together. So don't think that, you know, you just have to do everything yourself. Maybe there's some people who you know or people in your network who you see are doing creative things or doing things on Instagram. Actually reach out to those people. People. Those are the people who are doing cool things. Those are the people who you need to make friendships with, like real genuine friendships. So go out there and start doing that and start messaging some people who you might want to do collaborations with. Honestly, it is one of the best ways to grow your channel on YouTube. All right, so those are my top five tips to growing your YouTube channel and getting your first 1,000 subscribers. The really important thing that I want to note though is that all of these elements work together. So doing a collaboration with a bigger channel isn't going to do much if people click over to your channel and you only have one video or you have a bunch of videos but they're all about different things and they can't really tell what your channel is even about. And coming up with really good video ideas isn't going to mean anything if you don't have a good title and a good thumbnail to go along with it. So really start putting a ton of effort into all five of those things and you will see growth on your channel and you'll be one step closer to your first 1,000 subscribers. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and leave me a comment on what you've been doing to grow your channel on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Until next time, peace out.